Mm. Hi fam, I'm so sorry I'm late. I can't help it soon for some reason. Um, I was really tired and so something on my okay. And so I went to sleep and I'm normally up by now taking care of stuff, but I wasn't so hi Renee. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the supplies for um, this DIY. I'm going I'm to try to hold it up so I can continue to talk to you guys while um, I sort out everything. Okay, so we're going to do a spring DIY. And it is, I have it in my head, but I haven't really, what you said, put it down yet. So we're going to be putting it together, together if that makes sense so i have some eggs and um we'll if we use these it'll only be the yellow ones and the teal ones and then i have some um little moss things i used these last year i forget i, I put some type of scene on on them but i'm, I'm thinking about using these Ooh, look uh the main star of the show is this burlap right here i have a huge huge roll of it and so i um this piece was already cut and it may not be the correct size for the runner but i'm gonna i'm gonna use it and then um because it's gonna be the decorative part of the runner i'll add some to both to either end so this is burlap um, I may use this burlap for something as well. This is a piece that I got from Walmart. Um, and it's in the wedding section at Walmart. So, And it has the um, lace on it. And I was going to put lace around the other one. But I want to leave this kind of, not really what you say, rustic. But um, I, don't, I, I want to say homey. And it's not farmhouse. It's it's not rustic it's just spring <laughs> that's all I could I could say it's spring okay and then um, I have these signs from Dollar Tree the only thing that we'll be using is the bunny um, and I have this right here for um, measurements we're going to use some Mod Podge. We're going to use some glitter. I got some spray adhesive. Um, of course, I got my um, Exacto knife. And hot glue gun, hot glue sticks, ruler. Also, I have um, these two. This is Dollar Tree spray adhesive, and this is lock it i'm not for sure if we're going to use the spray adhesive or not and i have some fix all adhesive from dollar tree from oh i also have these bunnies from dollar tree and i have this bunny which um i would use the it's like a kit and I would just use the like the outside outline. I probably will put it together so I can have the the um the carrot on it. But I wouldn't put all the eyes and all that on it. I just need the outline. And from Walmart, I have two yellow and white bows to go on either end. I have some um, pom poms for the little tails and I have some snacks <laughs> so let me get some type of oil. oh and I'm going to use a canvas um now Dollar Tree does have canvas so you can get it from Dollar Tree to have up to 8 by 10 I think so um, for this project if you do it the same way, you will probably need two 8x10 canvases from Dollar Tree. But I have some here, so I just decided to uh, use what I had at home. 
Now, guys, back when I was sick a long time ago, and I, and I hate this, hate that it happened, but I completely lost it and forgot about it. Um, a company called BB Crafts reached out to me and um, wanted me to do a collab with them and wanted me to pick out some stuff that I wanted and really um the, what I what I picked out um is like real decorative things it came in this right here and it's these gorgeous scissors Eiffel top tower scissors wait this one right here is this one right here is a peacock see how that's the tail and then the the beak is the cut and shears and then this is the Eiffel Tower. Now, as you can see, I haven't used them because I was just going to really use them for decorations to put on my desk. Um, but I am, I will try them out with you guys here. Um, and I'm going to leave the, the name of the company. Well, the name of the company is already in the description box. I mean, not the description box, but in the title. So if you like these um, and if you want some for your desk or for work or just to you know to have as a decorative piece um you go ahead over to the bb crafts website and um get you a pair i know that wasn't um really expensive i can't remember how much they were because it's been a minute but um the all fairness i wanted to go ahead and get this out there since i did find it and um bb crafts please 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 count it to my head and not my heart i am so sorry it took so long for me to bring these beautiful pieces to our family but yeah guys these are really really pretty and we're going to try them out all right so let's get cracking here the first thing we are going to do oh and guys you may you can also use some dollies these um i order off of amazon but you can get white dollies from um the real dollies you, you can get this kind from the dollar tree and Dollar Tree has also the real dollies as well. So I, I'll show you what you can, when you can use these. It will be in the place of the canvas. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do really is we need to do a little bit to this canvas. Okay. As you can see right here. I already did this part because I wanted it to dry, but I did want to do a little bit, just a tad bit with you down here on this end, um, but keep on moving because I just wanted, um, you know, to make sure I showed you guys everything that I did. And it doesn't matter which Mod Podge you use, whether it's the gloss or the um the gloss or the regular matte and I got a new one of these out okay so basically what I did was I just put a real light coat something not not real thick Something that will pretty much dry soon as soon as you put it down, really, with the um paint. And guys, I'm gonna go back and put a, a more detailed description on the in the description box other than just spring da 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 da. And I got these glitters. Let me show you how they came. right here i i got these from tj maxx some years ago um but it's this these packs right here and they were 9.99 a piece and i got both of them and and that was the only that was the only two that they had or i would have got more but one of them is a fine chunky glitter glitters and one of them is like the regular glitters now i put regular glitter on the other end and so I'm gonna use the chunky on this end. And my colors for my dining room table is, as you can see, gonna be yellow, teal, and white. So all I did was
it has two ends on it. it has a shaker and an open and I'm using the shaker and see it's pretty much dry already the, the um e6000 e the Mod Podge is pretty much dry already because it's such a thin coat and then I have my ceiling fan on Now with the uh, fine glitter, I did, however, um, take my finger, finger and spread it out. And I'm going to use this section right here. I'm going to use um, for another DIY that we're going to do. That's going to be for the table as well. Guys, I did read y'all comments from my last live. Like I said, I always read them, even if I can't um, reply to them right when y'all when we post it. And I want to take one, one um, I guess one Saturday out of the month. I really do, and I just want to just chit chat so we can like do a powwow with the channel to see where you know where what what everybody want to see on the channel um the thoughts and concerns you know different things like that i i really that's i really want to do that with one saturday if not every month every other month just to uh kind of like keep us in check And the goal here is to alternate the color so when you go to cut your um, pieces out, you'll have some of the color, some of both colors. All, well, actually, all three colors. You'll have some of all three colors um, in it. And then on the last little section, what I did was I um and I'm just showing you different ways you can do it guys but it really it really doesn't matter when you cut it because um you're going to get some of each one of the colors it's just all depend on what your preference is My husband masquerade ball is supposed to be mm, in a couple of weekends and I don't even know if they're gonna have it with all this Ebola I mean Ebola all this um and then I pat all this um coronavirus stuff going around and it's crazy because my husband sent me this post from a book that this person wrote in 1987 and the post predicted didn't say coronavirus but it gave all the symptoms and everything that it would be and it gave this year that it was coming out and I and I, I think the post said that it would last for 10 months 10 years something like that 10 months 10 years and disappear um, as quick as it came in and somebody else brought it to my attention. My my um my son-in-law, soon to be son-in-law, brought it to my attention that um every election year there's some type of new virus that is brought to surface com comes out. Um, if y'all if you go back and track each for the last past few years, uh, last few elections, go back and 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 research the diseases that were you know came that was uh discovered or should i say or came into parishion 
during election time. And I think that's just something that I don't know. I mean, because the president can't do anything about it. I mean, it, the the CDC, if, if it's a conspiracy, which I'm not a computer, conspiracy, conspiracy theorist, they're the rest of how you say it. Um, I'm not one of those. So it, it really depends on your, your, uh oh. Oh. And then I have the white here. Oh. But yeah, every. Every um, election year, for the last past few years, there has been some type of virus outbreak or disease or something that was in the um, news or forefront. Um, and then I heard my husband say that the CDC has said that a person could have the coronavirus and not have the symptoms and still be a carrier of it and be able to spread it to other people and so that right there is kind of scary and um as y'all know my daughter my baby girl and five of my grandchildren lives and my brother and nephews and stuff like that and my best friend husband and her sons live in raleigh and i have you know i have some family that lives there and they have had an active outbreak there and so um, I'm constantly telling my daughter, and, and my grandson was sick the other day, and he did go to school, and of course, the grandmother and me, or the yaya and me was, uh, make sure you check the symptoms, make sure you call, so she called, because I word and word and word until she did it, so um, he's alright, alright, so with that being said, ooh, my foot is asleep, um, that's what I did to the other end. And as you can see, it has all the colors in it. And um, when you go to cut the... Okay, so if I wanted to, I could use... This is the little bunny that was on the... Um, oh, my... My grandson is talking. It sounds like it's on mine, but it's not. But anyway, um, you can use this one right here. Um, and I think this is the one I'm going to use because um, I took another one off. So I have that one. And then I turned this one around and I spray painted him teal. Let me come back here. And this is going to be my little girl. And this is going to be my little boy. And I am going to put some teal glitter on him. And this is why I was late, guys. Because some of these things just come to me right, right when I'm doing it. And it's like, oh my God, I, I, I want to do that. And so this was one of the things and it was probably already quarter to seven when I had when I ripped him off of his board and then I had to take him downstairs and spray paint him and um luckily it was his fast drop spray paint and lucky it was primer and paint in one so and then I'm going to do a mixture of the two. I'm going to put the... I don't want to put too much on his booty because I'm going to put a tail on him. And then I'm going to put some... Uh, this one and this is the one that's more like the the white and I like this one better anyway I like the it get to me it gives more sparkle okay 
So, I'm let him dry just for a few minutes. And then I'm going to put a little coat on him. Um, and then I'm going to put the tails on him. But right now what I'm going to do is flip this around. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the ones out that I want. Now, I'm, I'm you'll see in just a minute. You'll see. I'm trying to uh, rush because this is, is simple but intricate at the same time. another bunny now see i was going to use this big bunny but i'm gonna use this big bunny for something else and i have to go back to dollar tree and get some more so i'm gonna show you how i take the bunny off of the board i just stick my little knife up under there because i don't want to um if i don't want it to snap like and i don't want it to snap and you can save this for, you can keep this for this and put an, another bunny back here and use it. Or you can um, use it for other um, DIYs. So I'm going to take him and sit him right here. Sit him right there. And I didn't bring a, let's see if this has some lead in it nope so let's see which let's see see if i can use this one since it's yellow nope i don't want to use something that's too too dark let's see if this will work yeah this will work It'll be kind of hard to see in the teal. Uh oh, I can't see. I'm sorry, guys. Decided to grace me with your presence since your dad gone. That's me, y'all. Okay, so as you can see, it's right there. And as you can see, my my glitter is not all the way dry, but it'll it'll do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an exacto knife, the the small one, and I'm going to. Get it up for me. What? Tissue, paper towel, paper towel in my bathroom. It was hot. Huh? She threw up hot dogs. Who gave her hot dogs? I was just eating my food. Somebody had to give her hot dogs. going to be a good time for me to try out my scissors let's see what the the uh peacock does oh wow they cut really really well let me start one right here so I can cut. Okay, 
see how well they cut guys Ooh. wow no snagging yes so these are good i mean they're great for um decoration but these little things are powerful they're no joke Turn off my bathroom light. Yes. Wow. I'm stoked, man. I, I really thought that this was going to be like for decoration only kind of thing. BB Craft has it going on. And this is going with such ease. I know these are just scissors, guys, but I am like, I'm really shook at how well they cut. Where you going? Huh? See if I can cut this way. No snagging up, no snagging this way either, God. But I am cutting. It's that one, my other thing. Get, give it here. Bring me your thing because I, I need to connect to this iPad right here. Hold on, guys. Let me. What? What? Almost 49. <laughs> let me see. Let me see the earphones. Hurry up. Come on, hurry up. It never fails. You always have me doing something when. Okay, man, you're going to have to um turn it off and then turn it back on again and keep hitting the, the Bose connection thing. Because uh, I'm... Okay. Only reason why I'm back, guys, is because see how I was messing up the... Come on. So, here 
is our first bunny. And we're going to need two bunnies per end. And with the other one, other way, because I want them facing the same way, like it's going to be in the, on the, um, and then I'm going to come down here where it's more yellow. So you can, this way. And as you can see, the canvas make good fabric and it'll be um, sturdy. This is not a hard DIY. It just has a lot of little steps, that's all. Is this iPad 4? Huh? Is this iPad 4? Uh, I don't know. Let me see right quick because you could. Come on, hurry up, hurry up because if it's not, if it's not, I need your iPad, the iPad. Lord. Yeah, it's connected to yours. I hope it's not connected to mine. our second one and of course I'm going to take um I'm missing one of the bowls I took a bowl off already what? might have to hold off I put the bowl on the cut out And actually, I'm going to put the bow on the meal one, on the cutout ones, because I only have four, four of the plaques. So, now I'm going to, and now I'm going to try the Eiffel Tower ones after I start and see how they work. And I'm going to start right here so I can go up. He's made me a little bit too big. see what they're working with. Guys, nah, these are not made for this cut the canvas. So um, I'll try on the burlap. But these little babies right here. Working. What? I'm not working. 
turn turn it up, Deshaun. No, turn turn the um the volume up on the earphones. It's connected to it because I see it on on the top. Don't you see the earphones? It just keeps on beeping. Let me see the earphones. Oh, Where's your dad? Bring me the iPad. Guys, let me see. Um, I'm sorry. I'm hoping that y'all are not connected to the... Yeah, he was. <laughs> they said they believe you are connected to me. He was. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, and so guys, if you didn't hear what I said about the the um I if you didn't hear what I said about the Eiffel Tower scissors, I was saying that they don't cut well on the um canvas. So I'm gonna try it on the um the burlap. And I'm gonna head, go ahead and cut these two out, get the burlap started. And, and if we don't get the both ends done, then it will be okay. Because the, the, the middle and one end will let you know what it's going to actually look like. And as I said, I'm going to use two two bunnies per end, two bunnies in the middle. The bunnies in the middle would be the actual wood bunnies and the bunnies um These right here, these little babies just um Renee, I don't know what it means, but I made you administrator on the live. I think I think we should be able to connect with each other or something. I and you be able to uh read out to me questions and comments. I know that's how it goes, but I just don't know exactly how it works. So I'm going to have to research that more and then get with you. Okay. And see, we have that. And like I said, I'm going to only use um, a bow on one and not both. Um, I'm going to put the bow on the mostly teal one. For him to be my little man. Put him here. That's my little man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
close this up. And I'm going to bring these two out the way. And I'm going to bring this out the way. I'm going to move the canvas to the back of me until we need it again. Guys, I like that canvas with the thing cut out on it too. All right. So here is the runner. And like I said, I have a big old, big old roll of this. So probably when I do a, um, a giveaway again, I will be giving away like four, maybe three or four yards of it. Okay, and I'm going to use this as my, the way I want the edge done. And I'm going to come down as far as I can up here to use as much of this part as I can. As you can see, this is... um. Um, not wide as, as wide as it. And if you want to know, this came from Bitlots from their Summer Collection. I got it from, I mean, from their Shimmer Collection. I got this, not this year, but last year on clearance. And as you can see, I still haven't used it. Okay, yeah. Now these cut, these cut really well up here. So if you want some stylish scissors that's also functional BB's craft go check them out so that's all I need this for for this side and I'm gonna fold it back together And my idea also, if you have like a solid color and you want to add a little bit of the, um, um, this, then you can use this to cut out your rabbit, the burlap. You can use the, um, burlap to cut out your rabbit. Okay, so... Yeah, this one. And then we have this one. And you can have them offset like this. But um, I want mine like this. Let's see. How will it look? I'm kissing. Mm. Like that, guys. Or just put them straight like this. Leaning in just a little bit like that. And get their little tails out. And this is a wrappable basket trim from Walmart and I think it was 90 either 98 cent or 198 but I think it was 98 cents I thought I got two different kinds okay so I need a yellow and a teal 
video. Yellow is going on her. Teal going on him. And I think I am going to, I know I want this to be permanent. So, you can glam this up even more guys by, um, you know, using rhinestones around them. Like putting rhinestone. If you if you just want to be a glam, you know, most glam, you can do that. Put rhinestone around it. You can put rhinestone around here as well. Like I said, I don't really want it to be farmhouse, and I don't want it to be um rustic. I just want it to be. Easter. <laughs> Come on. Let me turn this over. So guys, I know farmhouse or rustic is not a lot of 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 y'all's um liking, but sometimes it calls for it, and I think Easter is a good time to actually. Do a little bit of farmhouse or rustic because we celebrate in the birth of Christ and he he was in the era where burlap and things like that was the fabric of choice and so um I think in honor of that this would be a good time for this type of DIY. And I think I like to do my Easter table a little more ch child friendly because the bunnies and all that is really for the children. 
because as adults we know you know what the true meaning of this holiday season is not just not just spring i mean i mean the easter easter Okay. And I want to do something like this. Like do let me see you can't see where they actually sitting on it. But I want to go ahead and get the middle done. So this is what the other end would be like as well. And then guys, you can even do this. Like, get some of this, the little pom-poms, and line it. Or you can take some of the small eggs. And it doesn't matter about this part right here, having the um, eggs, because this is the part that hangs off the table. <laughs> and so, the, so they can be like in a little feel. But I think I want to add the green first and then put the eggs down. So let's go ahead and do the middle right quick because we have eight minutes. So I'm going to fold this back up again. It was quite long. I'm trying to get me a line of demarcation so I can know where the center is and how to put the the rabbits on. So I'm going to turn it this way now. Get our rabbits. And actually, I need to take I'm going to put something right there on her because that looks bare. And I'm going to put this on him. You know what? Let me put the yellow up here on her right quick. But I want white. And this right here is a um what you call that thing? A cotton ball. I like that. 
exposing the egg in her hand. Turn it this way. And this is going to be perfect. You see this little bow on this egg? I'm going to take it off. And I'm going to put it right here in her hair. Wait, I don't want it right here. I'm going to put it right here in her hair. And I'm going to cut the length just a little bit. Okay. And so now, as you know, I did not imp this off yet. So let me imp him off because he's gonna have some glitter to come off it wasn't it wasn't that much as you can see and for this I'm going to use the same thing and this is my line so I want him right up to my line like right here and right right here uh oh like that like she's giving him the egg and then like I said I want the middle to be kind of a 3d thing Cut it right along here, and I know it's gonna shed. And then you know, I might need to bring it down so it can be touching this, the um, touching this. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some burlap. I'm gonna put some burlap up here, like right up in here. Okay, and I'm gonna just go with the hot glue with this since we're like pressed for time. better yeah like that and then I can put guys I hope you are enjoying this and we are almost out of time, but I am pretty much finished with it. And I'm gonna have candles up here on either side flanking this and And I'm going to put greenery on the bottom as well. 
And as always, guys, I'm going to continue to work on this. And I'm going to put a, a completed look on the thumbnail. And I don't know how good this is going to stick because remember it had glitter on the other side. I'm just putting some in random places. And then I'm going to put hot glue. Guys, as soon as I finish putting these two on, we're going to finish. I'm going to show you the one half of it. And guys, like I said, if you don't have burlap, um, you can get it by the yard or you can go get a roll of it, a tablecloth of it from Walmart. Um, or you can use, go to Dollar Tree and so you can make it an all Dollar Tree product, project. Go get, they have, um, they have table runners and you can design one of those. And that's what I was going to do originally, but, um. I don't know for some reason I like burlap for springtime. And I'm a glam I'm a glam girl, but I like I hope this wasn't too I don't know. Well, I'm not going to please everybody, and that's my issue. I try to, I want to please everybody, and and that's virtually impossible. I'm going to do something, some things that other people are not going to like, and this may be one thing because I know a lot of you guys are glam. Okay, so let me show you. This is what the center looks like. And it's, and it's 3D. And I'm going to have candles sitting on either side of it. Um, and then this is this version right here where you have the cutouts. So you can go both ways. Um, I really like these. Really like the actual wood ones up here. And I may go back to um, Dollar Tree and get... Um, I would have to get two more signs because I have two more of these. And I can put, put two on this side, on the other side. So I might go back and get two more and make it all of the 3D kind. Well, all both of them are 3D, but I really like this design a whole lot. And I got this um, this this idea from, let me show you the book right quick, guys. And then we're going to get out of here. Oh, God, my knee. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I don't want to show you one part of it because I want to do that too. Well, I'm going to show it to you anyway. So I got this, the design from the Lake, the Lake um, Side Collection. And I was going to do this as well, but I'm not for sure now. And this is where I got that, the idea from, for my table runner right here. <laughs> um, and this table runner is $14.99. And I have a tray um, that I've been having for a while that I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. 
And so I'm going to do this one right here next. So this is the next one I'm going to do. This spring one. So I'm not going to do too many spring DIYs. But I just want to do a couple. But this is where I got the design for the table runner from right here. And then I'm going to do this one right here. So guys. Um, I look, look sick. My eyes are dark. Um, and that's a reflection of how I feel. But guys, thank you so much for joining in. Um, sorry for being a few minutes late. That caused us to be, you know. But I thank you guys for who always just stick around to the end. Um, some of you guys come in because you have, you know, families that you have to take care of. So during this time, I know it's dinner time. Thank you, Renee. Um, and so um, I appreciate you spending this time with, with me. And um, even dealing with my, little, my grandson, he took up probably five or six minutes of our time himself. But yes, I hope you guys really, truly, truly enjoyed this. And like I said, you can make this an all Dollar Tree project because... Dollar Tree has the um, the canvas. Dollar Tree has glitter. Dollar Tree has the little pom-poms. Um, Dollar Tree has um, the wood signs. Uh, so you can use the wood signs. I'm quite sure they have, they got moss. They got real, they got moss. So you can use the moss to put up here. And um, so this can be an all Dollar Tree pro project. And then they have the gold um, table runners. So you can use the gold table runners but my colors are teal, blue, and white. And so whatever colors you, you want to make yours, then, you know, that's up to you. But that's my colors, my color scheme that I'm going to have on my table. And so, guys, um, I truly enjoy this. Uh, remember, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you to the moon and back and back again. We are almost at 49,000 subscribers. Um, so continue to, you know, push forward. Uh, um, two things right quick one um, when we reach 50,000 I know the Cricut mini is like old old like the first thing that came out but I have one that's in mint condition and like I said I'm gonna give do a raffle for that when we get to 50,000 subscribers and then um, Cricut has a new um, thing out as well that I want to get and I want to test it out uh, so I'm probably going to go get that on Monday. And then when we reach 100,000 subscribers, my Cricut, I think it's a Cricut Explorer, is in mixed, mint condition. Um, I'm going to give that away as a giveaway. So those are the big things I'm going to give away. At the 50,000, I'm going to give away a Cricut Mini. It's, you know, it's the first Cricut that came out. So, um... It, it, you don't hook it up to a computer or anything, but you can do a lot of stuff with it. So, um, I want to give away that, and also at a hundred thousand, um, my Cricut Explorer um, is in mint condition, and I want to give away that. So, guys, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you to the moon and back and back again. And I will see you in our next video. And I hope you like my new color. I'm not gonna keep it long. Because um, I don't like synthetic wigs. And this is a human synthetic blend. And it still tangles. And so I won't be keeping it long. But yeah. I love you guys. Bye bye.